I can see what you're saying, Suzanne Bio. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. I'd like to invite you to participate with me in a sensory experience. Stick your fingers in your ears, please. Now, things in this world can be really strange and really isolating. And this is a world I've lived in for at least 20 years. And it gets really annoying for everybody else. You can relate. Mm. Because I didn't know there were three factors associated with this. Number one, attitude. Number two, out. And number three, sight. Apparently, in my report cards, everywhere from preschool to college, attitude was an issue. Who knew? And the words that really resonate and that echoed was one day when I was about maybe six or seven years old, mom was talking to me and I was living in this little world and she was getting irate. And then I turned around and I said, my ears are closed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really remember that moment, but she spent her life reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't really know I had a hearing problem until much later. I had no idea that secrets had words in them. I literally thought that secrets sounded like this. <sighs> Until I became a teenager and I figured out that there were actually words. <laughs> and I missed out on some pretty critical teenage development. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing with attitude is, is I also didn't hear people going, She looks fat. I really don't like her. She's bugging me. So I walked around in complete, total, utter bliss and confidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's isolating when you have hearing loss because people kind of like to tell you, now you're going to be over here because you don't hear anything. And you get to sit in front of the class because you need to be sitting next to the teacher. And it didn't take long before you usher yourself after people usher you all the way around. Hearing loss is both a horrible, isolating world, and it also creates an engaging development in confidence, in seeking information. By the time I was in my 20s, money became available and funding, and I got my first pair of hearing aids. And it kind of sounds, well, with words, like you put cups over your head. And it didn't take long before I'd take them out and go, what did you say? Oh, <laughs> And I heard a whole lot of, put your ears on. <laughs> I depended mostly on lip reading because it didn't take long before I could hear and see what you're saying. I went through college. I even became a dear daycare teacher for a little while. You would think that having hearing loss would be a truly <laughs> blissful thing. <laughs> fellow Toastmasters. Now, I can spend up to $10,000 on a pair of hearing aids so I can hear people say, could you put them on? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what I had to say? The beauty of having hearing loss is that in the loss of one sense, you heighten and develop the next. So I can see what you're not saying. Ooh. I can see the subtle shift in your body and your face, in the sound of what you had to say. I can sense the energy in the room where most people were clueless. And that's why 
sooner or later, one of my favorite modified songs is I can hear clearly now, my ears are on. I can hear every word you have to say. Because in my world, it's going to be a fine, fine, sunshining day. Welcome to my world. I can hear and see what you have to say. Cool.